it's Juan for Pedals and Effects, and this is Mason Stoops. Hello. <laughs> awesome guitar player, and uh, I met him through the Earthquaker Devices people. Good people. Great people. And we love them, and so we figured why not start our first video together on some Earthquaker Devices uh, pedals. This is the delay line that uh, Earthquaker Devices has. This is the first one that they sent to me, which is the Ghost Disaster. And it's basically a reverb and a delay unit, and I loved it. I was like one of the first pedals I had that had the two-in-one, save some real estate on my pedal board. I threw it on immediately. I loved the sound of it. Um, but then these Disaster Transport series came out. You got this little guy. You know much about it. I just know it's a, it's a delay. It's a 600 millisecond delay. It's, what's cool about it is even though it doesn't have a lot of time, it does have a tone knob, which you can kind of use to get the really dark, kind of lo-fi sound. So that's where that started, but that originally branched off of this Disaster Transport. This is the first one. And what's cool about this is it's the same thing, has a tone, 600 milliseconds, just like the Junior, but this one has modulation built in, which you can click on and off, and you can make it go really crazy warbles all over the wet signal, or just really light kind of warbles that'll just kind of make it have a very tape echoey kind of natural yeah. sound, so the thing's sick, man. It's, it's awesome. Both of them together are really cool. Yeah, and then of course they up this the game. Yeah, which is ridiculous. <laughs> so this is the Disaster Transport Senior, and it, it has two delays, a reverb and modulation. Yeah, you have delay A, which is just like kind of the Disaster Transport. Delay A has 600 milliseconds and the modulation. Delay B though is 300 milliseconds and it has a reverb. So you have those two individually. Gotcha. Gotcha. They both have their own foot switch you can turn on and off. Or you can blend them together with the blend knob up here, which bleeds delay A into delay B. So you have like a super delay kind of thing going on. Uh, it's crazy. Yeah. Or have them both individually. I mean, it's endless. It's just it's stupid crazy. Yeah. And endless. And I, I've been actually throwing snares through it because I just love the really? tone. Yeah, I love the tone on, on you know, that you can dial in on the delay. It's just, it's yeah. just. But uh, why don't you go ahead and show them uh, what sure. you know, like you're, you're going to go just uh, delay A, correct? Yeah, I mean, it's just my dry sound right now. Pretty good. Yeah. Uh, delay A, we'll just start off. I've got the time not all the way up, but pretty slow. Repeats about noon, mixes a little past noon, and depth and rate for the modulation are pretty set, are set pretty low. Uh, so we'll just start with the modulation off and you can hear the delay as it is. Good, solid delay. We'll go ahead and dial in some of the modulation just to kind of get that idea going. Set it both at noon. Tone. I mean, I don't play with the pick always. Of course, I play bass with my fingers first and foremost, but I just love the way guitar sounds. It's just so fat sounding. Just yeah. Tight. I mean, it kind of happened out of accident. I knew I loved Mark Knopfler. He just kind of inspired me to start playing guitar. But the more I started using a pick, the less I could even control what I was doing. Can you use delay B as a slap back? Because it's got 300 milliseconds, you can really take advantage of the short time.
want to mess around too much, but yeah. it's cool. I mean, you could do a lot. Or delay B. If you throw in that reverb, we'll just turn it all the way up to really get the full effect. the pedals for bass, but I imagine guitar players probably love it every single time. Uh, I mean, like, yeah, I mean, you know how it is. <laughs> I have to say that. Not too. <laughs> so let's combine, the, let's combine the delays. Right? Yeah, let's go for it. I mean, I'll start with delay A, because okay. like we mentioned before, we have that bleed knob. So I'll put, you know, a little bit of reverb on, on delay B, set the mix all the way up just to really get a dramatic kind of effect. Time repeats both at noon. I don't want to hear that sound. So that's delay B by itself. We'll go back to delay A. And we'll blend in delay B. So now delay B will be kind of going into itself. We all kind of oscillate. So there you go. So and if you set the time so they're both at the same position, you'll get like a multi-delay. Mason Wong for Pedals and Effects. Thanks. Thank you. 